Hello. In this demonstration, we are going to be working with the software Maple. When you open, when you launch Maple, it usually come up with a new file. But you can always get that new file anytime that you want. We want to start with the help and take a look at new user tool. As you look at this tool, it is designed to give you starting point to work with Maple. Click at the bottom of that uh, first page to go to the Maple New User Tool main menu and as there it, you will see different sections. We want to work with the section on the graphics. Uh, section 5 is the section for the graphics and that is what we want to take a look at at this time. This is actually a maple uh, sheet and it is an active sheet and you can just work with it as, as you go through the document. The first command which is the start command and then other commands as you click on one of them and press enter it execute the command. We need a restart command to start the graphics and two libraries with plots which will bring the plots library which as you see in those a blue set of explanations has a lot of uh, capabilities. The other one is the with the plot tools. At the end of each command uh, there is a semicolon but if you Put a colon in there instead of semicolon it would execute the command but it will not print that now let's take a look at some 2d plotting examples the command for 2d plotting is plot and then open parentheses the function that you want to see the ranges of X and the ranges of Y. Notice that the ranges are separated with two dots in between them. So it's like minus four dot dot four. There's also a title that you can put for your plot. And the title is placed inside the quotation marks uh, as you and the whole thing, of course, is closed inside the parentheses and the regular uh, semicolon. Click enter, you would see the function being displayed. Now, no, now notice that the range of X and Y and the title of the document and plot are in there. There are other parts of this uh, new user to that it's outside the scope of uh, our class. Uh, the next plotting function that we want to take a look at it is plot 3D which would allow you to plot functions of x and y uh, as a 3D function. Again, just similar to what we had before, the ranges of x and y are identified. There is an additional part, an attribute uh, by the name of axis, uh, which has several uh, option for you. One of them is box. We will see that a little bit uh, later. As you uh, press enter you will uh, you will see that the function has been uh, displayed in 3D and the box that you see is actually uh, that box identification that we have in that.
I want to cover the animation 3D because it might uh, come handy for some other courses that you might uh, take. Animation 3D would allow you to animate a 3D function um, with different values. And here we have a function cosine of x and sine of x multiplied by each other and uh, it is going to uh, be multiplying uh, for the values of a parameter t uh, which in this case is identified to be between 1 and 2. What it does it would for different value 2 it will do it will calculate the function and it would animate animated based on those values. You can see the animation by right clicking on the image and use the animate animation uh, window and set it on continuous and play it. And it would do the animation. You can change the fun, the speed of the animation uh, every time that uh, you reduce it it will reduce the speed of the animation uh, to the level that you want to see you can stop the animation and uh, where you like to see the last item in this page is the inequal function. We will be covering this function in more detail in the next video. So um, take a look at the second video which will be uh, talking about this specific inequal command.